Welcome to Stackable, your all-in-one solution to building stunning websites with the WordPress block editor. In this video, you will learn how to use WooCommerce product fields with Stackable's dynamic content and conditional display feature. With dynamic content, you can add your WooCommerce product information into your Stackable blocks with just a few clicks. First, you will need the WooCommerce plugin installed and some products set up. Setting up your products in WooCommerce Once you have WooCommerce installed on your site, add a product by clicking on Products, Add New on the left menu panel of your WordPress dashboard. This will take you to the product page where you can edit the product's information. Fill up the product information on this page, such as the product name, product description, product image, regular price, sale price, sale price dates, and more. This is the information that we will be using later to display your products using stackable blocks and stackable dynamic content feature. Using stackable dynamic fields to fetch WooCommerce product information. After you've completed the information on the product page, go to the editor where we will build the home page of an e-commerce site. In this example, we've added a carousel block that features a product on sale, a new arrival, and a limited edition collection. Now we will use Stackable's dynamic fields to fetch the product information from the WooCommerce product page we added earlier. First, let's add the product images. Click on the dynamic fields icon next to the upload button in the style tab of the image block. Under dynamic source, select other posts. Under posts or pages, select the product page. Under field, select product image. As you can see, the WooCommerce product fields are grouped together in the drop-down list. Now, click Apply. Next, let's add a product name. This time, select the text field or highlight the default text inside the block. Click on the dynamic fields icon on the block toolbar. Under dynamic source, select other posts. Under post or pages, select the product page. Under field, select product name. Now let's repeat those steps to add a specific information on each slide. On the sales slide, we are fetching the information for the sale period in the text block by selecting the product date from and product date to product fields. On the new arrival and limited edition slides, we are fetching the information for the product short description. Using the Query Loop block to build product listings. You can use the WordPress Query Loop block to build product listings. Add a native Query Loop block, then choose Start Blank. Under Post Type, select Product. Select Post Template and click the grid layout on the toolbar. Add a Columns block. Select one column, then add an image block inside. Remove the default native box inside the query loop. Click on the dynamic fields icon next to the upload button in the style tab of the image block. Under dynamic source, select current post. Under field, select product image. Repeat the steps for the other product details and select the appropriate product fields.
WooCommerce product fields as display conditions. You can use the WooCommerce product fields as display conditions. This is useful if you want to show specific information about a product only when certain conditions are met. Select the block where you will apply the display condition. Go to the Advanced tab and under the Conditional Display panel, click on Add New Condition. Select WooCommerce in the condition type. Choose the product where the display condition will take effect. Select Current Post if you are using the Query Loop block. Otherwise, select the appropriate product page. Set the conditions for property and value. In this example, we've applied conditions where an out-of-stock text will be shown, and the Add to Cart button will be hidden when the product is out of stock. Finally, let's view how it all looks on the front end. As you will see, after we've set up the conditions, it now displays an out-of-stock text on the product that is out of stock. At the same time, the Add to Cart button has also been hidden. Great! You've just learned how to use WooCommerce product fields with Sackmo's dynamic content feature. This powerful integration gives you the capabilities to effortlessly display dynamic product details, streamlining the process and saving you valuable time. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more stackable updates, tips, and tutorials. You can also join our Facebook community or visit our website for more information. We'll link them down below.